Okay, Peter here at uh, 2016 Inner Drone, and I'm here with Greg Kratzinger at uh, Parrot. Greg, how's it going? Yeah, it's going great. Wonderful. So I see you have a lot of lot of goodies here. Uh, talk to me a little about it. Yeah, so I'm here with the Bebop 2. So the Bebop 2 has been out for a little bit, um, but we just updated it with a new Sky Controller. So we reduced the size of our previous Sky Controller. Uh -huh. This gets you two kilometer range um, and a live feed, stick control, as well as autonomous flight uh, with our mission planning app. Uh, the Bebop 2, one of the great things about it is the batteries are pretty cheap. They're about $50 and they get about 25 minutes of flight time. So wow. it's a really nice little platform, totally repairable, and you get HD video and 14 megapixel still images. That's amazing. Is it available on the market now? It is, yeah. So retail, um, you're looking at the controller, the Bebop, and our new FPV goggles. So the nice thing about these goggles is you pop this out, slide your phone in, uh -huh. Pop it in, and you get a live view straight from the drone. Wow. So this together, you're looking at $6.99 for a retail price on that, and it's available today. So you can go to parrot.com wow. uh, and order it up. So the nice thing about these goggles, uh, you can do nice aerial surveys as well as FPV flight. So it's both commercial and consumer applications. Really cool. Way cool. So do the goggles uh, communicate with the sky controller, so you still get a two, mi two kilometer yeah, range? So you just plug, you slide in your phone, you plug your phone directly uh -huh. into the USB that's on the sky controller, uh -huh. and you get that nice two kilometer range. Gotcha, iPhone and Android? Yep, so we, we work both uh, on both platforms. Amazing, now what is this? Yeah, so this is Slam Dunk. Slam Dunk right now uh, is a new off-the-shelf slam sensor. So you have two stereo cameras uh -huh. that gets you visual mapping and depth perception, uh -huh. as well as a sonar. So okay. the, the slam is created as a developer and an integrator tool. Uh -huh. So it runs on a ROS SDK, so open robotics software platform. Okay. That's the standard language that a lot of robotics companies are working with. Yeah. And so you can use this to mount it on a drone or really any robot, uh -huh. and it will get you visual navigation and mapping. Uh, so you don't need GPS, you can fly indoors and it will get you off the shelf sense and avoid. Wow, is this only para drones or is it any drones? So it's any drones that will communicate with that open robotics software. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's not just a drone, you could put this on a ground robot um, mm -hmm. or you could just handheld it and use it for inside mapping. Ah. Gotcha, so you guys are teamed up with a PIX4D. I've seen Bebop being used for their mapping and modeling also. That's right, so a great aspect of PIX4D is their free PIX4D capture app. Mm -hmm. So you log into your phone, you highlight the area you want to map and you mm -hmm. set your altitude mm -hmm. and you press go. Now, Bebop's a little bit, a little platform, so you're getting about a football field of a map, but it's great for real estate or construction yeah. mapping. You get really high quality maps out of it. So the commercial applications for a platform that runs $600 or, mm -hmm. or less, so just for the for the drone is really fantastic. That is that is pretty amazing. So this is like an entry level mapping 3D modeling tool. So it's not only a toy, it's actually something that somebody can use for business. It's an incredibly powerful tool. The nice thing about Bebop is you don't have a gimbal. Mm -hmm. You have that digital stabilization mm -hmm. on that big lens. And so one of the fragile parts of a drone is the, that gimbal and, yeah. and, and we've eliminated it now. So you get great quality video without the risk of damaging a couple hundred dollar gimbal. Yeah, without without having all these complex parts. That's right. That it is weighs wonderful. About a, weighs about a pound, so 500 grams or so. Okay. And is the Slam Dunk available now on the market? Uh, Slam Dunk will be out uh, shortly and so we just announced it today mm -hmm. um, and so we'll be shipping um, likely in a couple of months. Wow, so this is a fresh news actually to that. Yeah, Wonderful. Brand new as of yesterday. Brand new as of yesterday. Yeah. Awesome, 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 awesome. Has the pricing been released on that? Uh, it hasn't yet. I don't. I think you're um, uh, probably looking at about double the price of the drone or so. So it's really a, a high-end tool yeah. uh, for developers and integrators. Gotcha. How much does it cut off? Uh, how much of a flight time does it eliminate for the extra weight? Yeah, so it's a 134 grams, so it's pretty light. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm not sure exactly on Bebop what the what the reduction on the flight time is. Uh -huh. um, but for indoor flight, you know, you're not mapping or, or moving around huge areas. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, you know, I think for developers that want to test algorithms or want to integrate yeah. it in, flying on a Bebop is fine. Yeah. Excellent, thank you very much. All right, thanks. Appreciate it.